Rin Unitigo for the Spartans' first home game in three years, and tonight they're facing the state's number three ranked Class C Walton Warriors. The Spartans have a fourth and nine on their first drive. Campbell rolls to his right. He chucks it downfield. Oh, Chad Herring makes an incredible leaping catch to get the first down. First and 10 from the 14. Campbell gives it to Chad Herring. What a hole he's got to run through. No one's going to get him. Touchdown, Spartans. They're on top, six to nothing. Walton would start to move the ball with this nice run by Zach Picknick and on this run to get a first down by Robert McLaughlin. Just when it seemed like the Warriors would be able to answer back, Lance Renwick and Travis Harvey knocked the ball out of Picknick's hands and stopped the drive. Unitigo would start driving, but on this fourth and eight play, Campbell's going deep for Herring, but Picknick atones for the mistake and knocks the ball out of his reach to stall the drive. Walton would be on the move again, but this time Robert McLaughlin would cough up the ball to the willing hands of Bart Cowes. The Spartans would get things going and get into Walton territory on the 17-yard run by Chris Nyberg. Nyber would get the call later on 4th and 7 and work his way to another 1st down. On the next play, Campbell would give the ball to Andy Sherwood and he would respond by picking up 12 yards to keep the sticks moving. Unitigo would have 4th and goal inside the 5, but Nyber would get stopped by a swarm of Warrior defenders. It looks like momentum could switch. Eskerzada on the carry. Oh, another fumble by the Warriors. Chad Herring recovers the fumble. First and goal for the Spartans. Herring takes it to the house and puts the Spartans on top 12-0 and sends them into halftime with a two-touchdown advantage. It was nice to see former Spartan coach Leahy at the game. We got to see a halftime homecoming parade. Nice banner. Maybe they'll make me a hometown sports banner. Walton comes out strong in the second half as Robert McLaughlin gets a first down on this play. YZ Eskerzada gets the call on second down and carries it to the two. On the next play, Eskerzada gets the call again and scores the touchdown to get the Warriors within a touchdown on a drive that took eight minutes off the clock. Chris Nyberg would help the Spartans keep the ball away from Walton by picking up this first down on a fourth and two. Walton would eventually start a drive in the fourth quarter and on this fourth and long play, Trevor Tomeo rolls out and Alan Nolan tracks him down and forces another fumble to stop the Warriors' drive. Unitigo would grind out a couple of first downs on this run by Chad Herring, and Chris Niver would get this first down to close the door on any hopes of a Walton comeback. The Spartans upset the Walton Warriors 12-6 and give this crowd something to cheer about. This incredible win by Unitigo puts them back in the hunt for a playoff spot in Division 4. Here's what the players and Coach Mustair have to say. All, all I can say is that our line blocked, uh, blocked tonight. They did a great job opening up holes and uh, kicking out those guys on the ends. Great job to the line. Uh, it was the hard work of the linemen all week. Uh, the coach didn't let up on us. And the defense, the uh, scout defense just worked the offensive line like crazy. Uh, the kids played great defense today and uh, uh, held them down to six points. That's, that's the key. I told them if they make them go slow, good things will happen. And we, we kept them. I, I'm not sure if they had any long runs today, but we made them go slow and, and kept the score down.